Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, create thin lines or detailed lines, um, dotted lines, uh, etc. I'm also going to give you a pointer or two of uh, what a model line is versus what a detail line is. So let's go ahead and get started with a new project. I'm going to go to architectural template, hit OK. Uh, for those of you who have been following my videos now on uh, YouTube, I have about 50 of them, and every time I create a tutorial, I always try to start from the beginning. Um, it's not that I'm stupid and don't know how to save a file, it's just that for people who um, haven't seen my tutorials, they might think that I started with a predetermined setting or something. I'm just trying to show you that I'm starting exactly with what you start from scratch. Um, so let's go ahead and get started by creating a basic building. I'm going to hit WA on my keyboard. Just draw a rectangular building. I'm going to split it in half with a nice straight wall. That triangle indicates that it's a halfway point. Alright, so in a 3D view, this is what it looks like. A box split in two. I'm going to close out of that. And now, if you want to create a model line, you're going to go up here in the architecture tab and you're going to create a model line. I'm going to create one right here, and I'm just going to shoot it straight forward. It's green by default, uh, no big deal. Now if we wanted to create a detail line, and I'm going to tell you guys the difference in a second, I'm going to go to annotate, and then detail line. And I'm going to create this one the opposite perpendicular direction. And you'll see that this one is black. Now I'm going to bring these to 3D view, and you're going to see the difference right away gonna go ahead and select default 3d view alright so there's your model line but your detail line is no longer there the main difference between detail line and model line is that a model line you'll be able to see in all views a detail line will only be seen in views that you draw it in so if you wanted this detail line to be relevant in this view you would have to draw it in that view as well as in level one plan view. Um, it's really good for things that you want to show across all pictures to create a model line. Um, it saves a lot of time, it doesn't look as messy uh, to draw a detail line if you don't want it to show in all views. Uh, now to create like a dash line or a dotted line just select your line and then when it goes up here modify lines select thin lines and then you can just change it to hidden um, demolish beyond etc etc wide lines thin lines uh, Revit also lets you change the visibility graphics of these lines so if you hit VG on your keyboard uh, and you come down to lines you can basically change the thickness of them change the color of them uh, change the transparency um, really the options are endless um, change the color if you want so really there's a lot that you can do with them uh, but that's just the basics if you guys have any questions or comments let me know in the area below if not have a wonderful rest of the day thank you